Alrighty, let's see. The first few minutes, of course, will be me remembering how the commands work. Hmm. Continue game. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't see anything happening. Ah, oh, there we are. Squeaky chair. Oh! The screen sounds really loud for us. Yeah. Okay. So I am on a boat. Fair enough. Hey, Wings of Asgard. How are you? Let me just sit a bit closer to the mic. How have you been? Happy Easter, hun. Hope you're well. Oh, hello. Uh, this is a puzzle game and it definitely looks like I'm tethered to something but I can't interact with anything there yet. Oh, maybe I need to pull myself in. Maybe? I do not know. Oh. oh, a crank handle. Okay. Easter. Yes. Anything else? There's definitely a sea monster in here for sure. I don't see anything else. Crank handle. Just pretty ordinary handle. Square thingamajig. It looks like a square, doesn't it? Okay. It's almost Easter. No, oh, yesterday was Good Friday here. And then today is the Saturday, so it's the day after Good Friday. <clears throat> so happy Easter. Oh, that was the end of this chapter. <laughs> this means that last time when I finished the whole room and sequence and stuff, there was a little chapter that I could have done to finish it and I didn't. <laughs> Awkward. I have a hair appointment in an hour. Oh, good. I cut my own hair. It's not short so I don't I just really trim it so if I remember we are following in the footsteps of the guy that chased and found the null element and he has hidden it or clues to where it goes and how it works in all of these little puzzle boxes in different rooms the last puzzle box was actually the first one was a ship and we sort of explored a little mini ship it's really phenomenally well done. I do not know what these things are, by the way. This is electrical equipment of... Oh, I'm too slow for it. It already wants to give me a hint. No, man, I haven't finished clicking at things. All right, what's the hint? I wonder what's in that cabinet at the back of the room. Gee, I wonder where it wants me to go. <clears throat> this is a cabinet, yeah? A book. Oh, one, two. Nothing of note. A screwdriver. Yay! 
and a note. EXPT 2.07 Subject Beta 4 Rattus Tatus Subject necrosis significantly halted by pre-mortem app of serum number 5. Temporary musculature reflex restoration witnessed with post-mortem electrical stimulation of range 75 to 85 I guess that's milliampere if I remember high school science, correct? Part of the plaque is missing. Okay, some sort of gear system. Yes, I can see that. What's in this book? Can't interact with it. Hmm. I'm gonna need to find a door handle somewhere. And don't see any way to use the screwdriver yet. I recently brought all the missing Final Fantasy games in the series I was missing. Chrono Trigger, Lost Sphere and Star Ocean The Last Hope while they were on sale for half off. I have plenty to play and a friend gifted me Persona 4 Golden. Oh nice. You're going to have a busy weekend of doing gameplay. What's this? So we're, we're experimenting on rats, are we? Oh. What's in here? A brain. Oh. Can I use it? Oh! Good. They certainly know how to capture your attention. Maybe a lot's going recently. Lots going on recently, to be honest. Hmm. Well, we haven't seen you in a while. So I hope it's going well, yeah? I wonder if we're going to see the rat. Oh. What? Yeah, but you haven't given me the numbers. That's a silly clue. That means nothing to me. Subject Alpha 17, Lamprina Urata. Subject unresponsive to post-mortem app of serum number 4. Comb with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100. Corpus degradation, considerable with high amperes. Conclude coleoptera unsuitable for further study. I don't know what a coleoptera is. But I'm assuming the ratus was a mouse. find the numbers for this box. Surely the numbers will be on here. Just stressful stuff at work, training the manager how to use the new scheduling system, a remodel at the store going on, etc. Yeah, that's pretty full on. I'm glad it's going well and that you're busy though. Stuck 
doesn't go. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, stuck. I am stuck because I don't know where to find the numbers. What's that? Doesn't add anything. Oh, there's a bug. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna get a key somewhere. I don't know what that is. Hmm. And I can't see the top. I haven't seen anything that resembled the numbers on this box. Did you see anything that resembled the numbers of this box? <coughs> an SS, an S with a line through, and an I and an upside down T. I kind of expected to see um, these symbols somewhere, so I can get the sequence. It looks like I should be able to see something there, which I'm not. Those symbols on the front of the wooden box, perhaps they are to be found elsewhere in the room, you know. That's about as helpful as nothing. I know that. Go and inspect this thing again. One. Didn't see any symbols there. Two. Didn't see any symbols there. Oh my soul, you better have a better clue. The symbols on the wooden box match the ones surrounding the strange metallic liquid to the right of the window. Okay, that's pretty fucking specific. Window. It's not the window. How do I get to the right of the window? Maybe if I use that. Brings me back to the table. Oh my soul! Matching the symbols around the metallic fluid <laughs> on the box should give me the combination I need. <laughs> Ah, uh, did it say to the right of the window or the left? I didn't see metallic fluid. <laughs> so that's the window. It brings me to the thing then. What's that? Brings me back to the box. Liquids. Yeah, I don't see it. It's like to the right of the window, but that's the window and I can't zoom in there. Whatever that is, I can't see that. Even with a thing, I cannot see what it is. Maybe there's another window. Brings me back to the table. What kind of liquids? I don't know, it just said metallic liquids. So I've got this little box in inventory and I need to get the sequence. And this is what I'm trying to um, find out, it's a little sequence. And how it usually happens is it gives me a, um, a clue as to that this symbol means that. And it's usually pretty, it's not, it's not always easy, but I mean, so I'll just write that down. It's an S, S, an S with a thingy and an I and a little upside down T. So its clue was that to the right of the window there's some sort of metallic liquid and the metallic liquid is spelling out the number
which I didn't find any metallic liquids. I have no idea what this is yet. I definitely did not see metallic liquids. This thing does not want to turn yet, so I don't have all the components for it. Nothing else on the machine is intractable. Maybe in the bottom? No. It definitely sits to the right of the window. When I click to the right of the window, I get back to the table. Hmm. The mystery deepens. I'm going to be forced to Google this. I don't want to refuse to Google. I am missing something on my Solway's vision. Get to that little thingy there. No, it just brings me back to the table. I did not see any other metallic liquids. Holy moly. I'm going to be forced to guess random numbers in a second. I've looked everywhere, I swear. Next to the big machine on the left, this one, I can't zoom in. This one. So here's the cupboard at the back wall. Here's the table with the brain. I can't seem to zoom in on that table. It brings me to th that cabinet. It brings me to the box on the table. There is a window, but it's not letting me zoom in on it. Neither does that. It brings me into the table. Whatever this is, it's not letting me zoom in, but it's obviously there. Left of the big machine, rather. This machine. Oh, you mean this board? Yeah, I didn't see anything on the board. Zoom in closer. Is this the one you were talking about? This this thing, <clears throat> or not? Sorry for the sound. That was my headset. Wings of Asgard. Be more specific than the big machine. The brain one. Or you said no for this one. This one. I mean the machine to the right of the big window. This one. I don't see anything. Okay. I didn't see any numbers and I didn't see any metal. Metallic liquid. Go back. Yay! To go back to the disc. Go back to what? To this? Hey, Omar. Let me do your shout out while you're here. While I'm slightly lost. It's sitting next to that machine on the table. Oh my soul, I feel blind. I, I really don't see what you're seeing. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. So go back to the machine, right? You're talking about this? Nah, I really don't 
see it. I don't know what you're seeing. I'm usually better at this, I swear, I thought. Under the light. That thing. This doesn't look like the symbols at all. Oh, I see. I see. That's one of the symbols, that's one of the symbols, and that's one of the symbols. I see you are correct. But what's the... Oh, I see. What the hell is that? So that's one of them. That's one of them. Ah. One, two, seven. Oh, that's creepy. <gasps> well spotted. Nicely done. Well spotted. Dang. I was here earlier. I didn't even see it. So the SS is a one. The S with a line through was a seven. And then this one was a three. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey, Omar, thanks for the raid. Yeah, okay, I deliberately did that. I wanted to see if he said anything. It's not Omar, it's Omer. I hope you had a good evening. So you are a one. You are a seven. Hey! A battery. Let me take a minute to just quickly introduce myself. I'm Fireball Annie. I like to play online computer games. I just finished playing some Guild Wars 2 where we raided. Somebody got their crystalline heart. We doped around in Verdant Brink to get them a kill there and then we quickly killed Doom. And now I am doing the box which is, no it's not the box, it's the room which is really a beautifully, beautifully crafted game of puzzle solving. And clearly I am so pro at it, I couldn't find anything. It's metallic ferromagnetic fluid. Shut up. How can you spell that? How can you say that with a straight face? Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're just trying to solve this whole puzzle. Which is a little bit weird because I think this guy is torturing mice and a species of something that I couldn't identify. And there is a box on the table that we have to open. And I think I saw a bug in there. Alrighty. Here is my battery of metallic ferromagnetic fluid. I am not going to look at the clue because I think the battery should go here. No. Where should it go? That's a handle that needs to be pulled down. I doubt it should go there. Should it go in here? Does that look like a spot for a battery? Oh, it is! Oh, but I can't turn the... Oh, oh, I can! Hello. I think I should probably say it looks like there is going to be some sparks, so epilepsy warning, I think. Just be a bit careful. I'm closing my eyes. Okay, now what? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm too scared to look. Do you think I should take it back or should I just leave it? I think I just charged it, yeah? I watched a lot of YouTube videos on ferromagnetic fluid stuff. It's fascination. Yeah, I love these boxes. You know, in the um, Fireball Any Discord channel, there's a couple of um, links of people who make the real life boxes of these things. It is amazing how very, very creative and crafty people are. Okay, so now I have a battery, which is charged because the light is green. Okay, happiness is. Don't think so. Don't know what this is. Can't interact with it really. This table had machinery, didn't it? 
Oh, that looks like a battery size place. Oh my goodness, my throat is dry. Let's put that in and have a sip of coffee. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna move myself. One sicky. This is the coffee that I started drinking like four hours ago. All right, the battery's in. <laughs> now what? Oh, hello. Uh oh. No. What does it want me to do? I feel it wants me to turn this thing, but it's not turning. Oh! What is this? Like a round ball inside. <clears throat> oh, that's not what I want. That looked like it was giving me things off the tables box. Didn't it? Is that thing working over here? Look like that a bit. Okay, what's your clue? The switch turned on a beam of red light, but something isn't set up right. Yes, I know. <clears throat> I could tell you that. But I'm trying to get back there, friend. Let's zoom back in here. So, what isn't set up right? This is the only thing. But I think I can focus the bean by turning the brass collar of the first lens. The what? Oh, you want me to interact with the lens itself? Oh, I see. My apologies. Hey? I think I saw this symbol in the in this thing, so I think it wants me to change it. Ah, yes it is. Because I'm seeing the wall. Oh that's bright. Aha! Ha ha! -ha. open it yet what's that oh a drum of images so like a slideshow thing okay <clears throat> Kirkton sanatorium dear professor de something Mont Montfaucon 
While I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your estate. I beg of you to see Madame Lucy return to the sanatorium as early as can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Beckett. No, Dr. Beckett, are you good or bad? Does it matter? Oh, that turned it closed. And it turned it back to one, okay. And if I open it, oh, there's no thing oh. <gasps> there is. Ha! Can I open it now? Oh, oh I can. Uh oh. How do you stay open? Oh, you. Subject here to upper right appendix severed at something glenohumeral joint. Necrosis in subject halted completely via pre mortem application of serum number five, followed by post mortem application of serum four. Perfect musculature reflects fitness with electrical stimulation. All oh, this kind of scary stuff, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, okay. It's the beetle. I'm missing beetles here. There's a beetle on the table. I still need a door handle. I still need to open that box. What? I've opened the cabinet, but at a glance there's nothing I can use in here. You are not wrong, friend. Hello, Dr. Frankenstein. Oh, <gasps> that's true. So true. Did you know that Frankenstein was written by a woman? Back in the day. Okay, so that stopped turning. Okay, let's go to the thing on the table. Where would you put this, the pictures? Inside the cabinet door I opened. What's that in the top right on the inner frame? I thought I clicked on that. Wasn't that the card? Top right in a frame. Oh, this. Oh, it's a switch. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed the switch. A large handle. Oh, but it's not a, it's a screwy kind of handle. Okay, it's a screwy kind of handle. I thought we were going to get a handle for here. We've done that one. We haven't interacted with this one yet. Put it go in here on the side. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, hello. This makes everything upside down. Not everything, just the cabinet by the looks of it. Okay. So it's probably another lens. I thought this thing might need the handle. Where'd the handle go? Probably... Maybe something here? Oh, my soul. This thing is prolific. All right, all right. The crank handle I collected must be useful for something. Oh, this thing is, like, on point. Okay, okay. I have no idea where it goes. Okay, let's see. Nothing here, because there's no machinery. Anything here, maybe? No, I don't remember anything that needed a crank handle. Oh, there's an injection thingy on there. I can't interact with that thing, so I was trying to see if I can... Oh, my soul. Just when I get to the box, the... Oh, so here's where the specimens are, I see. 
um, it wants to give me a very helpful tip at that point. Okay, give me a... The crank handle seems quite sturdy. It is clearly designed to move something big. I know where the image just goes. Okay. On that thing, I suspect. Yeah. But it's not battery powered yet. Are you thinking of this one? I think it might go there, yeah? That did nothing. Oh, I need to get the electrical thingy. Okay, okay. I kind of forgot about it until you said that. Not completely like forever out of my mind, but just for a half a second. Do you think we can take this battery out or is it still locked? I think it's still locked for now. <clears throat> I think it wants us to find where the sodding handle goes. For something big, the biggest thing that I can think of is that weird door thing, this one. Can I zoom in closer? I think this sounds, this looks like it'll be the final thing because it's quite big. So maybe not quite yet. Anything here in need of a cranky handle kind of thing? Oh my soul. The crank handle I collected must be useful for something. don't see anywhere in need of a missing crank handle. That will be, well, I don't know. It's a square sort of doodad. That's a round doodad. Hmm. things are oh, the brain case right this case that doesn't want us to interact with anything I can't interact with that no more or oh, my soul the shape of the crank handle matches the socket on this side of the round table surely not that looked like a round thing going to say it fits here. Are you kidding me? I looked at that. Oh my soul. I thought that the handle the handle was too square for that. Oh my goodness. Now what? Oh. Can I not turn it anymore? Hmm. I can pretty much move it from there to there and then what? Climactic. Hold on one second, each other's above order. Oh, hello. I don't know how I did that. Oh, I lifted the thing. What's that? Looks like some sort of jewel but I can't take it mm. 
Maybe I need to go and realign that light of some sort. Oh! No. No, I can't interact with anything else. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be stuck again, aren't I? I can move that light reflecting right. Mm -mm. I can move that light reflecting prism around something. Around the table with a crank handle. Yeah, I did that. I didn't see anything happening. Maybe the light needs to be reflected somewhere else. Maybe it needs to go. Oh, come on. Zoom, zoom. Maybe it needs to go there. Now that it's in the upward position, yeah? <laughs> oh! The hint is that I am silly and impatient. Was that the, was that the hint? Yeah, give me a hint. Oh, wait. Where's that going? Oh, no, 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 I need to go and adjust this one. Never mind, you figured it out. <sighs> By luck. Oh, ow, that's blinding. I was convinced I'd done that, but I hadn't because I'd done it in, I hadn't done it, I hadn't done it in the, with a prism in the upward position. I only um, moved it around with a prism still in the low. Didn't this thing, wasn't it short to handle? Uh oh. This looks ominous. Subject L. Cardiac viscous. Necrosis halted indefinitely. Manual operation at 77 and 3 quarters milliampers. Facsimile of life restored only with proximity to the, raw, to the raw null. This is the guy that's looking for the null element, I guess. No further avenues, no way back. Dear Lucy, forgive me, I was too late. Yikes, I hope he's not experimenting on Lucy. Sounds like he's trying to save her, yeah? What does it want me to find in here? Oh, a battery. And a bug. Hmm. So the bugs need to go here. Oh, well, the battery probably needs to be charged. I know where to do that. I'm assuming it will be uncharged. I do not know. No, in the here. Okay, remember to close your eyes if you're sensitive to light. Here we go. Oh, that's new. I have a screwdriver. No, no, I don't want to see it. I want to use it. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Yeah, okay, it's doing it the right way around. So detailed. Oh, oh, it's broken. Burnout fuse. I'll discard it. I'll need to replace the broken fuse, indeed. Where will we find a broken fuse? A new, unbroken fuse, that is. Hmm. Okay. Not here. We haven't looked at the... Oh, can I get that battery? It's not released the battery, so we can't look at the um, pictures. Oh, no. Do any of the jars on the bottom shelf of the cabinet hold anything useful? I do not know. Let's go find out. Where's the cabinet? This was the cabinet, yeah?
New broken fuse. <laughs> so, this is the cabinet, is it? What's a cabinet? Is this a cabinet? I thought the thing with the um, bugs were on is the cabinet. The lid of the largest jar in the cabinet looks loose. Yeah, it is a thing. Okay. I could probably unscrew it. This one is the cabinet after all. This one. Ah. That's silly. A piece of a broken plaque. I wonder if I can turn the other things. You know what? I've done this, be I've done this game before, part one. I should probably have known to try and fiddle with the lids. Shame on me. I can make that happen. Who wants to play hot potato? <laughs> uh huh. New broken fuse. A plaque. A piece of a broken plaque. I did not see anywhere that needs a tile surface yet. It sounds like something that'll be on the back of an oldie style table. I didn't see any tiles broken or anything. It's not showing me where the damn fuse is, is it? I blew a fuse. <laughs> Will it go there, maybe? No. I've collected a... Oh, these hints are so on point. I've collected a broken piece of plaque. Where will it go? Do you say plaque or plaque? Probably plaque. I do not know where it will go. You hint on helping me. Not by much. I can't see what it says either. Nothing I can use. I don't think. I think I saw a broken plaque in the cabinet somewhere. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm open for ideas. I have no idea what's going on in this one. It's a good thing I'm not a... Oh, maybe there! I think I accidentally found it. Maybe? <laughs> Wings of Asgard, I'm going to credit you with that one. Let's pretend that was your idea, because it probably was. <laughs> Subject necrosis significantly hosted by pre-mortem number five. Bingo. <laughs> the detail in this game is amazing, isn't it? I mean, apart from my inability to navigate around this room and make it look easy, the detail is absolutely amazing. Oh, I don't have a screwdriver anymore. Apparently I don't need it. Okay, so now I can go turn the thing. Remember to close your eyes if you don't like the lights. That sounds about right. My eyes are closed. Okay, and set. Well, I am good at this game and I haven't even heard of it. <gasps> ah, yes you are. I'm usually good at it. I don't know why I'm so impatient with it tonight. I think it's because this room freaks me out. It reminds me of the room of the... Uh, you, you saw that movie Saw? Doesn't this remind you of that room? Do you want to play a game? Uh, let's go and have a look if we can see the... <laughs> Aha! Eureka! Oh, wait, hello? Oh, I have to look in here? No? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no! Oh, no, he didn't! Oh, he did. Okay, one more time, because that's so fucking creepy. Scientist gone mad. Okay, one more time, in case you didn't see it. Okay, that's enough. Yikes. 
All right. So something to do with serum five, something to do with serum four, something to do with putting electricity through it. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> yeah. It was intense. The viewing window has lit up. What will it show? Are you kidding me? We literally just looked at it. Is there another viewing window? I already looked at it. Thank goodness there's no thingy. Oh, there's the uh, there's the hand. Uh, okay. I can't click with anything else on my soul. Can I do anything with the box yet? No. It's going to torture me until it gives me another clue. I'm going to see if there's anything else I can do in the meantime. I was kind of a bit miffed that the um, handle did fit in in the thing in the after all that because I was so so convinced that it wasn't the right shape, and then it turned out to be the right shape. I wonder if viewing the movie images using the eyepiece would help. I did not think about the eyepiece. This eyepiece. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, it didn't occur to me to do that at all. Oh, there's a bug. Okay, we know where the bugs go, don't we? I don't know what to do with this symbol yet. I'm sure we'll need it at a point. All right. All righty then. The bug goes. Oh, I need to zoom in bug goes somewhere on the board. Oh, we put it there. So two bugs outstanding. Okay. All right. Nothing else that I can see here. That doesn't interact. The only place we haven't really interacted a lot with is the actual box on the actual little table. And I definitely know there's a bug in there. I don't have a key for that one yet. I don't know what this thing is yet. Or oh, what, what now? Looking through the eyepiece, there's a strange marking on the drawer of the cabinet. Really? So this thing is the cabinet, this one. Go closer. On the drawer of the cabinet, a strange marking. Let me zoom in closer first. Oh, this is as close as it wants to go. Okay, okay, okay. I do not see a strange marking. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Is there something on the underside of one of the cabinet drawers? I do not know. Oh, there's an actual arrow. Look, Where do you want me to look, friend? I can't go down her. How did I get down there earlier? I moved a line of some sort. That's right, I opened the drawer. Oh, now the drawer is locked. Oh my soul! I've closed it. It shows me the arrow, yeah? But I can't move down. Let me click low. 
Uh uh. I'm doing the same thing over and over. Can you remember how we got the number, the second drawer to open? It's something to do with the little latch, but this latch didn't want to work for me earlier. Turn the knob. What knob? Oh, this one. <laughs> it's the first time I'm here. <laughs> my goodness yeah okay far out I didn't expect that that was gross got a bit of a fright there <sighs> that was scary I kind of feel silly that I, I I forgot about the damn drawer thing uh oh a small metal handle Ooh. Anything else? It kind of suggests it goes there, doesn't it? But it's not. Because it just came from there. For the drawer. Yeah, I kind of forgot how to get how we got to the drawer <laughs> earlier. That's funny. I'm kind of obsessed with this uh, box on the table and it's not its turn yet. Because it needs a star. I wonder if that's the same star from the cabinet. This one needs a um, key of some sort for that lock. This is also needing something wet. The handle I collected. I've used one like it recently. Oh my goodness. You're quite persistent. I wonder if the star can come off. No. It just opens the thingy, it doesn't come off. I don't remember using a a handle that looked like that recently. The handle is the same as I used to manipulate the metallic liquid. The colouring is the same but I don't remember the handle looking like that. Oh it is actually. Oh there. Yeah I'd like to put it there. I like to put you there. You. Huh. What's that? This is probably where it wants the double L and the O with the backslash, yeah? That thing there. The O with backslash, this one. Oh! It is too. I know where this key goes. You can't kid me. I know where this key goes. Can't fool me. We've looked at this box too many times. Too many times. Whole shape doesn't match. Oh, it does not, after all, match. <laughs> there we go. What? It's a pointy uppy arrow and two lines. Oh my soul, I forgot about the two lines. Okay, come on. Thank you. A bug. Alrighty. And discs. Oh no, these don't come off. Oh no. Oh, they move. Okay. I 
Not in any specific way for me. Just when you think you're done, hey? He tricked you. What do they say? One, two, and three. Okay, so one. Oh. Oh, I didn't want to change the position. I obviously need to discuss thoughts. Okay. We will go and address the bug situation first. Bug. Oh, final bug. of mirrors in this place, isn't there? There. Okay. What do you want me to do, friend? Probably wants me to lower this one lower. What if I do it in this one? You, right? Okay. Did I position the thing right? Where's it gone? Oh, there's a lens thing here as well. Oh my glorious soul. It's too low. It needs to be to the right, doesn't it? Ugh. Welcome. It seems to be my fate to be forever standing on the shoulders of greater men. Mont... I don't know how to say that. Montfalcon's work? That sounds very weird. Sorry for the bad English accent. Uh, makes mine appear that of a child, but he never cracked the final secret to the doors as I have. He carried with him the key all along, and he never realized... The soul is the root of the null. Ah, oh, so he's in his chase for the null element. He's saying that the soul is the root of the null. It comes down to a simple trade. Mine for hers and hers for yours. The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well and don't look back. Whatever you see here, don't look back. A lens. It looks like it would fit my eyepiece. Alrighty then. That's ominous. Okay, what are we seeing now? Oh. Oh. Now we see writing all over the damn place. Okay. Alrighty. I feel like I see things. So what do you want me to do with the knowledge? Oh, okay. Here's symbols. The symbol that looks like, what's that? A star inside an eye has an arrow in it, which is that one. Does it want me to move that thing back? I guess so. What's your clue? 
With new lens attached to my eyepiece, what will it reveal? I wonder. I wonder if I need to move the um, thing over back, this thing. No, it does not want to let me turn it. Okay. So that is negative. I wonder why it highlighted this thing here. What? Looking through the eyepiece reveals patterns on those rotating plates in front of the central box. That's right. I forgot about those. The ones with the num where the numbers needed to fall in place. Oh, I'm never going to be able to get to that side again. Take it off. No. These ones is what I'm trying to get to. There's a clue as to how to solve one of the plates on the box. It's just in front of it on the table. Yes. I wanted it to go there. Indeed. But now what? Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, that. Same thing. Oh, there's another one. So that's like three triangle thingy. Okay. Let's go and do that. triangle thingy okay so that's where I saw that I didn't see another one that was obvious there must be some clues around the room I imagine they look similar to the one on the table. I agree. I must have missed one. So I found that one. But I must have missed one because I didn't see another. Not obviously. I think I saw a pattern like the one on the table on the blackboard and another on the book by the cabinet. Maybe I need to zoom in. Oh, I need to zoom in. Okay, okay. Oh. That's a triangle and it's two to the, I can't exactly see what it is, but it looks like it's two to the left from the triangle, yeah? Okie dokie. So, two to the left from the finger. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Did I look wrong? Maybe I got the order wrong. One, two, three. No. Maybe. It Hold on. doesn't tell me which the number is for it. So because this one was the first one, I just put number one there. Which might be wrong. And then the next one I saw was this one, which is the triangle one at the top, right next to it. So I put the number two there. Let me just double check that that's what I did, yes. So I put the number two there. And then on the book, I couldn't exactly see what it was. But, 
it looks like that's the triangle then it's one two from there the dots in the center of those circles on the table yeah I didn't zoom in close enough to them is what you're saying I don't know what those mean though yeah What do they mean? Do you know? Are you guessing or are you googling? Because you shouldn't google. We've got to guess it together, if anything. No googling. Well, I have no idea what the dots in the middle of the table mean. Look at the dial paddles. Ah. Oh. I just counted the dots in the center of them. To my untrained eye, they don't look similar. Yeah? What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Because you're seeing something that I'm not seeing. I can't rotate them. Right, so the symbol corresponds to the number of dots in the clues as to what they should line up with. The symbol corresponds to the number of dots in the clue as to what they should line up with. And I'm not Googling anything. Oh, good. Why are you counting? These don't look like anything more to me than just fingerprints on a table. My eyes are not seeing what your eyes are seeing. Are you suggesting that this is one? And then that's a, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a dot, it looks like a turn right arrow and it looks like a circle and a turn left arrow here. It's a complete mystery to me what these dots mean. I need someone to help me out, help me out. Help a friend out. I do not know. I honestly do not know. Could it be on the side? So we know that it is. Let me write down the symbol so I don't forget him. Because we have the star in the eye, we have three triangles on the outside of an inside triangle and we have I think that one half of what this dude uses as the null element. There is a dot clue, the dot paddle is on, okay hold on, hey Zunlai how are you? Hey, hey. I am stuck and Wings of Asgard is helping me. You can help me too because I am stuck. So, the dot paddle is now looking the three dot clue. No, you'll have to retype that. I don't know what you said. I am good except I am lost in this puzzle. We've gotten this far. Do you want to see something creepy? We are in the lab of a mad scientist. Oh, it's not going to show us the squiggly arm no more. We've looked at it too much. 
I'm sorry. I thought I could show you. If we looked through this earlier, it showed us an arm being zapped by electricity. Instead, because we finished with that, we see his crazy writings and the arm is actually just in the jar. Okay, center of what you're looking at is three dots. Yes, yes, I saw the three dots. Let's go back there. Thank heavens. Um, uh, he's here. I, d I don't know what I'm looking at. It's like there is a three dot paddle. There sure is. Oh, I see what you're saying. It just took me forever. I see this one is the number three. Holy moly, that took me forever. Okay, okay. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. Then that is the number one with a triangle thingy. Thank you so much. I was legit super stuck. And then the book will be the two. Let's just go and find the book so that we all know what we're looking at. This book. Which we can't see like that. So we've got to zoom in. Position the camera angle and look at it then. And there is the two. Oh, my soul. Smarty pants. One smart dude. Can I say dude? Do I have to say dude to do it? Thank you. All right, let me go back. I mean, I remember when you streamed, you had like a gigantic beard at a point, but I don't want to offend. Okay, so that one was the three. This one was the one. And that one was the two. Was it next to it? Or was it one down? Oh, it didn't work. The I was the three, the triangle was the one, and the two was this one. It didn't work. Unless I'm looking at the bookcase one. Oh, I still have the massive beard. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zoom I recently started streaming, just the other day, in fact. It was quite a fun stream too. I learned a new acronym and I've completely forgotten what it was. I think it was CIS. Okay, let me look at this thing again. CIS, see I remembered. It's, it's tricky. I can't exactly see which one it is, but I th think that was the triangle thing, wasn't it? It's making me work for it. Oh my soul, I can actually get in closer. Oh my soul, it's the triangle thing. But I, I was counting this one as this one because I couldn't see. Oh my soul. <sighs> Back we go. I am CIS female. Or woman. which is cool to know, a new term. This one. Oh, hallelujah. Oh my goodness. I wanted to say hallelujah, but I don't want to because that looks like a human art. I can't. Oh. Oh no. I, I don't want to. Oh no. The fucking thing better not explode.
it's not a puzzle for what I was supposed to just have seen because I didn't really look. Okay, so that's different doors. That's more different doors. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, this is better. So about here it looks like it does something normal-ish. God. Thanks for all your help, I really appreciate it. Game complete. Congratulations, you have completed the room too. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the many mysteries held within this most unique space. You fled the laboratory and escaped the confoundment house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is an absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somehow coordinated samples which exert some form of control over these curious events. Professor D. Montfalcon, I'm just going to call it Montfalcon because I can't say it. 19 November 1903. Continue. Thank you for playing and thank you for playing with me and help me for all the times I got stuck because I really got stuck. Thank you for playing and purchasing the room too. We hope you enjoyed it. A small, as a small independent games developer, we truly believe in the power of word of mouth and goodwill from everyone who plays our games. So please let us know what you thought of the room too by recommending it or writing a review on our Steam page, which I shall. We sincerely value your support and feedback and by purchasing and recommending the room too, you are, help, you are helping keep independent games development alive. Fireproof Games. Main menu. I really enjoyed this. I did get stuck um, in the end a little bit. But I really enjoyed it. Thanks so much for helping me. Especially where I super got super, super stuck. Whew. I think that'll be me, actually. Uh, time. Annie Bot Bot says, we've been at it for four and a half hours. I hope you had fun hanging with me. And if you're still there, um, if you're still there, uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, do the room three at a point in time, yeah? Yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, if you just stop by, you know, and I didn't see you, or if I kind of uh, spoke over you for a while, sorry about that. I kind of got a bit absorbed there at a point in time. Um, I'll call it here. I'll see if I can transfer us somewhere else. I might just host someone, depending on how many people I haven't put to sleep yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Somebody said good night. I'm falling asleep. If you're watching this in the future and you're looking at the VOD, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to talk to me in Discord. I am a prolific pen pal in Discord. I'm going to...
going to quit this one now. Yes. Hey! Did you see the end of the game? I wonder if you saw the end of the game. It was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. I, uh, I am a little bit, um, I'm a little bit dazed after that. It was really quite intense. So, yeah. Um, let me see who's online. I've turned the music off so it doesn't blare in my ears. I did not because the Guild Wars 2 monsters kept me busy. Well, I appreciate that you were here with me in the first place, yeah? I do appreciate that. Um, I wonder if I see... Hold on one second. I'm going to send us somewhere fun. You will enjoy this guy. Because... They are actually when they when they wrote um, posts on on Reddit, I fell in love with Necro, and I did not know that they were streaming. So let me send us there, and we can check out what they are up to. Um, as for me, I will see us. I will see us again on Monday night. If you haven't followed me on YouTube, please do. A subscription there costs nothing and I am trying to um, get to a thousand subscribers. I'm at 24 at the moment, so I'm kind of excited about that. I will be putting a lot of content together in the next three months because hopefully I will be able to do my uh, visual graphic novel, which I'm hoping to do. So yes, that is pretty much me in a nutshell. I will see you on Sunday. Thank you. Good night. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>